Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another pen for review here, and uh, this is a different kind of box that this pen comes in. Uh, you'll see here it says Sean Design, uh, made in Philadelphia in USA, and you've got the Sean Design logo there as well. So this doesn't come in a full-size box, it just comes in essentially what is a pen tube here. So I think let's uh, remove uh, the lid here to the pen tube and I'll show you this pen in more detail. So this is one of the beautiful um, Sean Design pens you can see here. Sean Design uh, DSGN for short. Uh, and uh, this is a really beautiful material, I have to say. Uh, it is a metal pen um, uh, and it does have a little bit of a texture. Uh, to the pen, but it, it's what I would normally uh, class as a pocket pen. Um, it is a small pen, and uh, but you can see here, it's not maybe necessarily a pocket pen. You can post uh, the cap here. If I just zoom out a little bit, you'll see there. Uh, you can post the cap. It doesn't post deeply. only post down to about here. Um, but this pen has the Monarch nib, which is a made-to-order nib. And uh, this, this nib is made of titanium. And it's a Jovo, uh, or Jovo compatible nib unit that can screw into any Jovo pen. Uh, and it has a machined Ultem feed as well. So you can see that it's quite interesting. If I show you up close there that uh, nib um, and it does have a little bit of a Waverly style sort of point upwards to that nib there that you can see it's slight more slightly more tipping I would say on the top than the bottom and it just curves up slightly so this is a small pen um, it's not really I'd say a pocket pen I I have seen smaller pens I think from Sean design uh, but uh, this is an interesting pen. I've looked, uh, I have a number of friends that have had Sean Design pens uh, in the past and bought them to pen clubs. Uh, so uh, this is an interesting pen. It's not new to me, but this nib is. Um, now, John uh, from St. John's Pens has loaned me this pen for review. So I want to thank John for loaning me the pen. Uh, and uh, this pen will be going back to John. So if you want to pick up this pen or want to pick up other pens that John has, then do check him out at his website at stjohnspens.com or check him out on Instagram at stjohnspens. But this is uh, an interesting pen for sure. Um, I have had these sort of conical nibs before or cylindrical nibs. Uh, Visconti have done some in the past. Uh, they called them Chromium 18 chrome it was it was basically a steel nib this is a titanium nib apparently um it doesn't look like titanium to me it looks more steel polished but uh, i am told it is a titanium nib uh, all of these nibs are titanium now if i unscrew the body here you'll see an international cartridge converter so you can just use a standard uh, cartridge in there as well and uh, it's not a screw-in converter it just pushes in so uh, that's that's also nice as well and uh, that has a lot of threads though uh, you wouldn't be able to eyedropper this because it is metal on metal um, but um, you, you can certainly use cartridges in here if you don't want to use a converter the section I find is actually quite comfortable it's slightly concave there just to stop you sliding onto the, the nib and feed. Although, to be honest, I don't think you're going to get your finger wet here because, because that nib is uh, in the way there. But it's an interesting size, and you can post the cap if you want to do so. Um, I would be a little bit worried because you have got metal threads here, and metal threads will mar the finish. So I would be a little bit careful on trying 
to do that. But it's a very beautiful pen. Um, very short compared to some of the pens that I'm normally used to. And I'll see if I can stop it rolling away. There you go. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison. And then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen we are looking about 126 no probably about 100 and 128 millimeters in length the length of the cap we're looking at about 53 millimeters in length so that is quite uh, a a shorter pen uh than than i am normally used to uh and then we'll try and stop that rolling away and then the uh, measurement from the tip of the nib to the pen, it's about 122 millimeters in length. So it is a small pen for sure. It, it's not uh, a large pen. Uh, it's not what I would class as an oversized pen, which is normally around 130 to 132 or above uh, millimeters in length. So I think with that, let's do a weight check. Now, this is uh, a metal pen. Uh, I believe this is aluminium, um, but I might be wrong. Um, but the full weight of the pen is, and we can get that stopped, just over 28 grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we're looking at just over five and a half grams in weight. And then the weight of the body, we're looking at, well, just over 22 grams in weight so uh, that that is actually quite uh, a lightweight pen uh, being made out of metal so uh, that is uh, an interesting one but you can see here the the colors in this uh, it's really really nice the way that they've almost like flame torched that that material there um, beautiful beautiful colors so uh, I have to say this is a nice looking pen so I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Cross Peerless 125 in Platinum, a Cross Peerless 125 in Titanium, a Cross Peerless 125 in Quartz Blue. We have an Estabrook SD Oversize, and this is in the Gold Rush Prospector. We have the Sean Design with the Monarch Nib. We have a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, uh, in the sand, uh, a regular Leonardo Memento Zero. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra in the wild, a Wild Eversharp Decaband Oversize, and another Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra in the black and gold Luchens. So I think let's do a writing sample. So this is going to be interesting because I've never written with one of these Monarch nibs before. So this is the uh, Sean design, and that's how uh, he spells it. Uh, and it's the uh, uh, Monarch nib. I'm not too sure what the finish is on this pen, um, but it's an interesting one. Now, the Monarchs are just a typically um, same nib width throughout. You can get them custom ground. Um, these nibs typically are made to order, and they're about four hundred dollars just for the nib. Um, apparently, because it's titanium and it it's it's one off orders. Um, so I'm going to put down a medium nib here, um, and it uh, apparently is titanium, but um, I'm not so sure. Like it looks rather silver to me. Uh, not the the brushed sort of effect that you see with a lot of titanium but um sean design say it is a titanium nib so i'm gonna go with that um in terms of the uh ink uh i have inked up with diamine ochre uh you can get these at custom ground now in terms of line variation you're getting probably a western medium to maybe a western fine um this nib is stiff. You really cannot push it uh, and, and get line variation out of it. I'm trying to push this nib and I'm not really seeing any line variation. But there's no hard starts or skips. It very much reminds me of the Visconti 
CR18 or Chromium 18 nib. Um, it's a very smooth nib. Uh, they don't actually put tipping on the nibs, actually. Uh, they, they just actually uh, turn the nib up a little bit, as I understand it. Now, um, in terms of ink wetness, let's take a look. It's not a very wet nib, um, but a lot of people typically prefer to write in notebooks or journals. So I, I do understand that for that, um, this, is prob this nib has probably been made more for that. Uh, I think you can probably get, not only can you get it ground, um, but there, there aren't actually, um, well, there, there is a nib slit there, but it's, is it really a nib slit? I think it is, but it's very, very, actually, I don't think it is even. I think it's just a line on there. It's not, there's no actual slit. So I'm trying to get it on camera here. There's no actual slit there um, in the time, but there is a line there on, you can see it there, a line there. But um, I don't think if I, I don't know, it is, it is. It is opening up. It definitely is a slit. It just, it, it is very, very tight. So what do I like? What do I not like about the pen? Well, the, the pen is, is uh, I, I like the, the weight on the pen. I love the finish. The finish on this pen is is really nice. Um, the, the, the pen itself, uh, I think these typically uh, normally sell for around about uh, two or $300. Um, this has a Monarch nib, which... Uh, has a premium of four hundred dollars, so so th this actually makes it quite a more mid-range uh, to higher-end expensive pen. Uh, but um, I think it's an interesting nib. Uh, is it titanium? I don't know. Um, it looks more silver or chromium finish, but it could be that it's just plated. Um, I do find the pen for myself a little bit on the small side. Uh, it's not the the kind of size that I normally would go for. I typically go for longer uh, and more heavier pens. But I know a lot of people that love Caveco Sports or Cavecos in general. And uh, they like the more smaller, compact, more ruggedized pocket style pens. So uh, a pen that you can just chuck into a pocket and not worry about it, maybe a jean pocket or something. So uh, I think for, for those kind of people, this is probably the pen that they would like. Um, is there anything I dislike about the pen? Uh, I think the Monarch nib is an interesting nib. Uh, I think I would prefer a regular style nib uh, over the Monarch nib. I'm not so sure that I would want to pay four hundred dollar premium for for that nib. Um, I think, bearing in mind that for about two hundred dollars, uh, if I were to get a Noto, I can upgrade from a steel nib to a eighteen karat gold nib, a number seven size nib, for about two hundred dollars, so about half the price of that nib. That said, this nib is made uh, as one offs. Um, so they are made to order. So there is always going to be a premium there when you are making pens to order or nibs to order because you cannot mass produce. You cannot bring the price down. So I totally get that in terms of the price of the nib. Um, but it's an interesting pen. I like the colors and uh, I do think it's it's an interesting pen. Uh, I know a lot of people like to play around with pens nowadays, play around with nibs stack nibs things like that so uh if you want to try a different style nib then certainly check out the sean design with the monarch nib so i'd like to thank john at stjohnspens.com for loaning me this pen for review uh, if you want to check out john you can check him out at stjohnspens.com or st john's pens on instagram uh, john also goes to a lot of the uk and european pen shows as well as now some of the us pen shows so if you want to check John out, then do check him out there or do uh, either online or do check him out at a pen show. So that's my review of the Sean design with a Monarch titanium nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.